1975, the giant spider invasion, a horror movie that Leslie Parrish starred in, was voted among the top 50 grossest movies at the time. But she played in several other movies, cutting across all genres, but still being known as a comedy queen. Now, some of these movies are grossly underrated. This video covers some of Leslie Parrish's movies that are truly worth seeing. Before we get into the video, only a small percentage of people that actually watch the videos are actually subscribed. So if you end up liking it, the video, kindly consider subscribing. It's free and you can always change your mind. Enjoy the video. Number one, Tank Battalion. In the 1950s, Leslie was known for her roles in a variety of movie genres, including historical drama films, musical comedy films, crime films. However, one of her movie appearances that stood out at the time was her performance in the 1958 war film Tank Battalion. Even though this was one of Leslie's first movie appearances, she played her role with utmost skill. The movie, Tank Battalion, which was directed by Sherman Rose, was said to be one of the most interesting war films at the time. During the 1950s, most producers were trying to play it safe by sticking to generally accepted and demanded movie genres like action and crime. However, the execution of Tank Battalion was a success due to the actors and actresses that were selected for the movie, especially Leslie Parrish. She played the character Alice Brent, an army nurse, who does everything in her power to be assigned to the same region that her boyfriend, Sergeant Brad Dunn, is assigned to. She finally gets her wish, and she's able to join him on the battlefield. The film's an emotional roller coaster of the pains of war and the joys of victory. The positive reviews the movie got over the years is proof that it is indeed a great movie, Tank Battalion, definitely a movie that's worth watching even now. Number two, Lil Abner. So the 1959 musical comedy film, Lil Abner, yet another one of Leslie Parrish's underrated films that you do need to watch. The movie was created based on the comic strip and Broadway musical titled Lil Abner, which were both huge successes at the time. Even though these past creative works had built a fan base over the years in Europe, Canada, and the US, the movie turned out to be more interesting than the viewers expected. Leslie Parrish portrayed the character Daisy May, the female lead role. Her character was a fun, energetic young woman who always found a way to make everyone laugh. The movie ended up being a box office hit at the time, with lots of positive reviews from film critics like Richard Coe of the Washington Post, who stated that Lil Abner is broad, colorful, and fun, and I think even Al Cap, the writer of the film, would be pleased with it. So, if you're looking for a movie that'll lift your spirits, you should definitely check out the movie, Lil Abner. Number three, for love or money. In the 1960s, Leslie Parrish had established herself as the comedy queen through her incredible performances in films. She was known for taking characters and transforming them into interesting and fascinating people. One of her movie roles that shocked her viewers was her performance in the 1963 romantic comedy film For Love or Money. Leslie's character was that of Jan Brasher, one of the daughters of the billionaire Chloe Brasher. The film's about a billionaire who hired a bodyguard to fix his three beautiful daughters for marriage. But things didn't go as expected in the end. Leslie's performance so outstanding that she received a nomination for a Golden Globe Award as Most Promising Female Newcomer for her performance in the film. The movie was considered one of the best romantic comedies at the time, especially with the unexpected twists that came with the storyline. Most viewers revealing that they were not expecting it to be any different from the regular comedy films that were in circulation, but their doubts cleared up when they saw the movie. Some critics saying that what made the movie stand out was the versatility of actors like Leslie. For Love or Money, definitely an undeniably interesting movie that you should watch. Number four, Three on a Couch. Leslie Parrish made yet another comedy film appearance in the 1966 film Three on a Couch. The movie directed by then popular director Jerry Lewis, who was nicknamed the King of Comedy in the 1960s for his incredible creative comic works. The movie's based on the true life story of a man named Christopher Pride, who's faced with a dilemma. His soon-to-be fiance, who is a psychiatrist, said she would not be able to move to Paris with him immediately due to her workload. So Christopher decides to go on a secret mission to find the issues that his girlfriend's patients are facing so that he can offer some quick solutions to them. When he finds out that all their problems are related to heartbreaks they faced in the past, he decides to date all of them by taking on three different false identities 
in a bid to fix them quickly and have his girlfriend join him in Paris. However, his secret mission gets complicated when he goes to a party and sees all the women he's currently dating. The rest of the story determines if he's going to get caught or not. Leslie Parrish's character, Mary Lou Mauve, happens to be one of Christopher's pretend girlfriends in the movie. Three on a Couch, said to be one of the best comedy films the 1960s ever produced. As far as romantic comedy films go, Three on a Couch was quite the buzz in the 60s. Number 5. The Money Jungle The 1968 drama The Money Jungle, directed by popular film writer Charles Wallace. Now, due to the complexity of the storyline, Charles made sure that he selected actors and actresses who would convey the message of the story in the most interesting way. He chose phenomenal stars at the time like Leslie Parrish, John Erickson, and Charles Drake. The movie's about the rivalry between five oil companies who are vying for offshore rights and how that leads to the death of their various geologists. However, no one seems to know who is behind the killings of these geologists. In a bid to uncover the truth, a detective, Blake Heller, is hired to investigate the situation. After several attempts to find the killer, Blake finally narrows his search down to two females. One of them, Treva Saint, Leslie Parrish's character, and the other is Peggy, a nightclub owner. His next moves are channeled towards finding the real person who's guilty of the murders. The Money Jungle, it's a film that undoubtedly won the hearts of viewers back then and was filled with strong themes like crime, and power, and vengeance. Number 6. The Giant Spider Invasion The 1975 science fiction film The Giant Spider is one of the few horror movies that Leslie appeared in. Despite the fact that she was not frequently selected to play horror roles, she did play this role with utmost skill. Now, the movie was said to be part of the top 50 most grossing films for the year 1975. Even with the blood splashes and screams and gore, the viewers seemed to keep their eyes glued to their screens for the entire time. The film, The Giant Spider Invasion, is about giant spiders that terrorize the town of Merrill, Wisconsin and the surrounding area, leaving the entire town scared for their lives. So in the film, Leslie plays a female lead role as the character Ev Kester. Leslie has proven herself talented and flexible enough to adapt to any genre that she was in. She owned every character she played and is greatly endeared by her fans to date. So which of these Leslie Parrish films caught your interest the most? Let us know in the comments below and do check out the next video in the series.